DTA Anti-Slip is a safety treatment for hard floor surfaces. It's a liquid chemical safety treatment which provides increased slip resistance when applied to tiled, granite, terrazzo and concrete floors. It is not suitable for porcelain tiles. It produces little or no change in appearance. When applied to glazed or polished surfaces, one litre of anti-slip should cover 10 square metres in up to three applications. This is roughly one third of a litre per application. It's important that anti-slip is applied correctly. This video will show you how to get the best results. First, you'll need the right tools for the job. Mop and bucket, a soft bristle broom or stiff bristle decking brush, or a sponge, a rectangular bucket, and rubber gloves. First, tape off any areas not to be treated using plastic and masking tape. This will protect the other surfaces near where you're working. Step 2. Clean the area to be treated, making sure it's free from dirt and grease. This should be done with a normal floor detergent. Once the floor has been thoroughly cleaned and rinsed with clean water, pour the anti-slip formula into a bucket. Never pour anti-slip directly onto the surface to be treated. Step 3. It's important that you test anti-slip on a small inconspicuous area to determine the number of treatments required. Here we choose a small group of tiles in the corner. Ensure you always apply anti-slip to a wet surface. Use a mop again with clean water if the surface has dried. The application of anti-slip is applied in a north-south east-west motion to get 100% coverage of the test area. Between test coats, use your fingers to test the area to determine the number of applications you need for desired results. After deciding as to what number of applications are required, thoroughly rinse and dry the test area before proceeding onto the remainder of the application to ensure you are happy with the result and the finish of the tiles. Step 4. Start by cleaning a larger area. This next area should be no more than 5 square metres. One litre of anti-slip should cover 10 square metres in up to three applications. This is roughly one third of a litre per application. After cleaning the area with a floor detergent, ensure the area is 100% wet with clean water. Immediately apply anti-slip over the wet surface using a brush, natural bristle broom or sponge squeegee. Important, do not allow the surface to dry at any stage during the application. Remember, anti-slip should never be applied to a dry surface. If the surface has dried, re-mop the area to ensure that the surface is damp. Just as before, always apply the anti-slip product in a north-south, east-west motion to ensure 100% coverage. Apply your next coat within a five minute period so the anti-slip product does not dry. This time may vary depending on different climates or air conditioning. And if the surface has dried, wet by mopping the dry area with clean water, then reapply your anti-slip coat. Step 5. Once finished, wash the area down with clean water and a mop. Change the water in the bucket on a regular basis to ensure clean water is used when washing the area down. Finish by using a floor detergent and mop or vacuum dry. Anti-slip is odourless and can be used as soon as the area where the product was applied has dried.